Hello YouTube, Facebook, social media, Brandon Swain, the running realtor, and I'm back with another video. I want to give you guys an update on what is happening with our market right now. We're hearing a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot about inflation, about the economy slowing down, about interest rates. And I want to try to break down a few things for you to try to help understand exactly what's happening or what's happening in our world and uh, try to help you understand what's, what's going on in the, in the real estate market, how that might affect you as a buyer or as a seller. So let's, uh, let's pause here. I wanna introduce myself. My name is Brandon Swain. I am the running realtor. I serve the Tarrant County, um, west side of Tarrant County, east Parker County, Parker County, uh, Weatherford, go down to Cleburne, some in Johnson County. I do quite a bit of stuff on the west side of the Metroplex over here um, in DFW. So um, thank you so much for checking out the video. I want to um, give you a quick prompt to uh, hit the subscribe button down there and um, so that you can get caught up on, on, on future videos and check out some of the videos that we've done uh, here in the past. So, um, well, let's, let's get it kicked off. Um, Let's talk a little bit about what's happening right now. I'm gonna go ahead and time uh, date stamp this video. A lot, of, a lot of the videos that I've put out here in the recent past have been kind of um, evergreen style videos that I'm gonna leave up on the channel and they're gonna be there kind of in perpetuity. Uh, this video, however, um, has got some time sensitive information on it. So um, it is June, 2022. And what we're gonna be talking about today is the market and what's happening uh, here at the beginning, kind of start of summer, uh, what's gonna be happening as summer goes through and what's uh, what we kind of see projected for the start of the fall. Um, so as we're hearing a lot, of, a lot in the news right now, we're hearing about inflation, we're hearing a lot about the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, um, and, and, and how those things are uh, ultimately translating into the economy. And so what we're going to talk about today is how those things are translating into the real estate market. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that um, uh, the experts do, they look at on a, on a regular basis to try. The experts look at the 10 year treasury rate. Um, so what happens in general is that the 30 year mortgage rate will follow the 10 year treasury rate. Um, so we're going to put up a graphic here so you can take a look at kind of what has happened, uh, with that over time. And this is in general has been the trend, um, that's, that's happened over the last 50 years. And so it's a very, very reliable trend that the experts, uh, look at. So. Uh, I, su I subscribe to a service that gives uh, real estate agents the upper hand in trying to understand what's going on in the market. And so I have subscribed to this service. I get my information from Keeping Current Matters. And so we're going to pass that on to you guys to hopefully get you uh, some information that you're able to understand and break down a little bit better uh, that helps you in your daily life and in just your curiosity and knowledge in general as a potential buyer or seller. So <clears throat> um, one of the things that, um, that real estate really does for us in general, um, things that, something that's, that's different than a normal investment. So most investments are you know, kind of paper, they're out there in the market. Um, but real estate, as, as you've been told in the past, is a tangible asset. It's something that you can hold on to. It's something that you can use something that you can use, uh, you know, for another business, whether it's residential, it's commercial, it's whatever. Um, those, those type of investments are things that are, it, it's something that you can see and use on a daily basis. And so um, real estate really has quite a bit of uh, upsides for a lot of, a lot of different folks. Um, the real estate market right now in North Texas is quite a bit stronger than the rest of the country. And that's a, that's a great thing for us. Um, the country in general is seeing a recession coming. We've got quite a bit of inflation. The, the new consumer price index numbers that have come, uh, come out, uh, I think they were yesterday, um, are a little bit higher than we anticipated. 
And what, we're, what we are anticipating ultimately is, is quite a bit of a slowdown, a recession coming. So in the real estate market, what that means is we're gonna see a decelerating um, real estate market. And I wanna clear up a few misconceptions about what a decelerating um, uh, real estate market means, okay? So what a lot of folks tend to think that that means or what you might just kind of assume that that means is that prices are gonna start coming down, they're gonna be falling. Well, that's a misconception. And so what, what a decelerating market means is that you're gonna see a lot of the, the hot market um, indicators start slowing down. So we've seen houses go on the market and go under contract within a day, two days, five days, less than a week. And we're gonna start seeing some of those numbers um, backing off a little bit. Um, we're also going to start seeing some of these uh, over asking price offers uh, become lower over asking price offers. Uh, so we're going to start seeing that real estate market, uh, those uh, indicators start to slow down just a little bit. So things are going to decelerate um, as opposed to the way that they have been um, accelerating off into, off into nowhere because that's, that's a situation that just can't sustain itself for forever. Um, interest rates, as you, as you have probably seen in the news, are on their way up. Um, so interest rates have been held probably somewhat artificially low for the last um, better part of, of a couple of years now. And so if you have purchased a home, refinanced a home, um, you've, you've, you have felt the, uh, the benefits of those low interest rates. So if you, if you refinanced or, or purchased a new home, let's say in, you know, uh, no, anywhere from November to February um, of this, uh, you know, six months uh, prior here, um, you, you've probably got an interest rate that is down, you know, in the twos or low threes. So interest rates that are that low are, are very beneficial uh, to the buyer and ultimately to the seller because um, you've got a lot of buyers out there that are willing to um, you know, borrow money and, and make purchases because they know that those mortgages are gonna be low. But that, that trend is, is, um, is, is slowing here. As we go into the summer, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna start seeing that, that trend slowing um, as interest rates rise. So what does that mean for you as, um, for, for you as a seller? Now, Let's say if you're a, you're a seller or even a buyer, you can see both sides of this coin. But um, as we go into the summer, you're gonna see those interest rates come up. You're gonna see buyers pull back. You're gonna see a few more, um, uh, a few more homes hit the market than have, than have been out there uh, because the buyers have started to, to pull back. Um, you're gonna start to see um, some of those uh, comparables um, and as those prices change here over time, those comparables won't hit the market here for another couple of months um, after we start seeing some more closings. And so in the late summer and early to mid fall, we're gonna start seeing um, uh, the, the, the effects of, of, of the economy and the inflate, inflation and the rise in the interest rates. So, if you have some more specific questions about uh, some of these things that are happening in our world right now and in our local economy, our local real estate market, um, if you're a buyer or a seller, I would love to chat with you um, a little bit more about that. Um, I'd love to, I've got a, I've got a ton of slides that, that illustrate some of these things and we'd love to give you a little bit more information on your specific questions. Uh, you can reach out to me. Um, my phone number is 817-565-0417. Uh, my email address is brandonjswain at gmail.com. And I look forward to speaking with you. Again, my name is Brandon Swain. I am the running realtor. Let me go the distance for you.